Aloha, everyone. Mahalo for joining us here online at Kauai Community College. I'm Dave Lister from Star 94.3, and we want to give you, the viewing audience, a warm aloha for tuning in to Better Together. Many of you may be wondering why we are doing this concert here at the college. Well, we will tell you, with everything going on in the world, these wonderful students at KCC wanted to share a ray of light through music. We know that many of our ohana on Kauai across the state and across the world have been affected by the COVID pandemic. These students came up with the idea of hosting this show that would showcase talent found here on island and at the college. Without a further ado, come along as we ride into this journey of positivity. Our first artist came here to the island and recently has started her story. She's going to perform for you now. Please welcome Maria Christina. Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this first song is called We Are One. Up here, each other calling, cause we are one, we are one. 
So this next song is called Right Here, Right Now.
you. So this next song is called Better Now. So. Let's begin again and listen to the truth within. So much change you while we've been dancing with the wind. Let's let forgiveness sin and learn to be our best friend. We can lift each other higher like Phoenix rising from the fire. Come on, let your guard down. You got nothing to lose. Let your feet touch the ground. Stand up so you can choose. This time we'll get it right. Yeah, we'll light up the night. Let worries of today all fall away. This time we'll get it right. We'll be bathed in the starlight. And let go and surrender. Now everything's better. Yeah, everything's better now. I believe in us. And I'm open to trust. Things keep changing, and the journey goes on, but feels like we've been waiting for so long. This time we'll get it right, yeah, we'll light up the night. Let worries of today all fall away. This time we'll get it right, we'll be bathed in the starlight. And let go and surrender, now everything's better, yeah, everything's better now. Thank you so much. Thanks, Maria, for that awesome performance. We'll be taking a short intermission now. Please enjoy this short video from the intermediate video production students here at Kauai Community College. Incidentally, if you have a not-for-profit or a business on island, they do top-notch production. Here's some of their work. Healing Horses Kauai is about loving. It's all about love. When I started this, it was one horse, two kids, that I had trouble engaging in therapy in my practice and I took them to meet Shiloh. And they started talking and they started crying and they started getting angry and they got better and it was like a miracle. It's not all just about riding the horses. Sometimes they want to be more confident or they, they want to learn to jump the horse. And they work towards that in every lesson until that's completed and then they pick a new goal. They want to trot. Okay, we start trotting with them, first on a lead line and then independent. We have an adult who has PTSD. She came to us and she wants to do the Pirelli method with the horses. So her goal is to be able to, on the ground, direct the horse to do something, move left, move right, turn in a circle, whatever, and have the horse listen to her. It's about building confidence, building self-esteem. We've had children on the autism spectrum really learn how to communicate. We've had a, an adult client. We partnered him with this horse, and he was doing his lesson. We would tell him, like everybody else, when you want to go forward, say, walk on, please. And at one point, we stopped, and we were waiting for other horses to pass, and he said, walk. And we
we just kept going, walked around the area, the, the area, and we came around and we saw all these people outside in the parking lot, and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Even as a young adult, that was the first words he had ever spoken. And his caregivers were just overjoyed and in tears because he had never verbalized anything before. But because he wanted it, because he wanted to go on the trail ride and get his horse to go, he did it. We love having extra volunteers, people who know how to be around horses are you know, wonderful for us. Donations, whether it be grass seed or a tiller or the manpower to run the machinery. We have now 10 horses. These guys are alive. So they cost money for farriers, they cost money for veterinary bills, of course their feed costs money. Some people just come here to hug a horse. They never get on a horse, they stand next to the horse, and they heal. And there's something magic that happens between people and animals. I mean, any animal really does make a difference. But horses, I believe, have such a big heart that they are able to give more and receive more from another human being. Magic happens up here. We are back with Better Together here. I'm Dave Lister, Kauai Community College. I'm now speaking with Maria, who was our first performer. And what a nice job, beautiful, inspiring music. We appreciate that. Thank you. Now tell me, um, how long have you been writing music? Since I was really little. Okay, yeah, it shows, because you have a knack for it, for sure. Oh, um, is there anything that goes through your mind as you're doing the song, like it was at the time you wrote it, or is there something else in your mind that goes through? I think it just feels really good to be singing and hopefully supporting everyone coming together. So. And you've done that today. Very nice job. We really appreciate your efforts, and thank you so much for coming out and performing thank today. Thank you so much, David. That was amazing. Now it's time to introduce our next artist from the east side of Kauai. Please welcome Charity Ann. Aloha. Hi, I'm Charity Ann. Thank you for tuning in. I'm so excited to be here. And this is called Song of Hope. It up now. 
in an instant Well, I peer through this looking glass Closing in on a life that's left undone Oh, baby This next song is a prayer collaboration. It's called Forces of Light. May all the forces of light be with us. May all the forces of light be with us. May all the forces of light be with us. May all the forces of light be with us. Through all galaxies and all realms, through dimensions and all planes of existence through all beings all matter and all space and time may the light shine oh may the light be with us oh may the light All right, this is my last song, and um, it was written by, through me, but also through the Kupa River and the Devas that sing along that path. And it's called Olie Rejoice. Best clothed in the 
Joy to the island, to the greens and the blues, to the waterfall streams, mountain high, to the scent of the night blooming jasmine and her hues, to the rain ever pouring as they cry. Oh, we're a mess, but onward we'll tread. Oh, to the beauty that shines for us all. And now. Thank you so much. Aloha. Thank you, Charity Ann. We'll get back to the live music here at Better Together, but right now enjoy this short video from the intermediate video production students here at Kauai Community College. Kai was my first horse and he was a rescue that a friend of mine had taken on and she asked me if I would help her take care of him. 
Kai was about 24 years old, very skinny, considered a tripod uh, because he only walked on three legs. And so I just kept going to him every day. I didn't have a car then, I had a bike, so I used to bring a backpack full of horse hay <laughs> cubes and um, we just connected. So I had to find a pasture for him, which took a while. People didn't want him because he was three legs only and he was very skinny. Uh, most places told me no because they didn't want horses to die on their property. Um, one person actually offered to shoot him for me um, until I found these pastures and then we came out here. get old horses they don't have a place for them they don't know what to do with them they don't know where they're gonna go and how to care for them and Amy's providing a place for these horses to go she's very picky about who she allows in the pasture and around the horses she's always on watch and on keep with them even if she's not here her mindset is here there was a horse out here over in that pasture that I was watching getting abused punched in the face um, and I just kept watching it and I found out that, that the owner, caregiver of that particular horse was leaving the island. The day I knew he was leaving, I came and I saw his horse was still here. So I called around and they said that I could um, have that horse. It took him a very long time to trust me, really long time to trust me. And then I let him in with Kai and they, they were friends right away. No problem, no fighting, nothing. It was seamless. And two days after I let Mama in with Kai, I got a call from the Humane Society and the woman said, hi, um, this is Julie from the Humane Society. We, we heard that you rescue horses. So that's when I got my third horse, Koa. He was at the Humane Society two days out from being euthanized. I know parents who have um, had their children, you know, they think, oh, my kids want a horse. They really are into horses, et cetera, et cetera. And it turns out they don't like the extra work. They don't like all of the work that horses are and the attention that they need. So um, the parents have just appreciated and fallen in love with what Amy does and the service that she's given. Volunteers would be great, having people out here to come out maybe a couple of times a week just to come and brush the horses and, um, you know, put on the fly salve and whatnot. Uh, maybe somebody to run to the feed store for me to bring me the feed would be wonderful. Um, financial support would be great. I have a GoFundMe now, but I'm taking it to the next level with the 501c3 nonprofit. What keeps me going here and, and doing this incredible work for these horses is the spirit of my horses that have passed, especially Kai, because he and I were the ones that started this together. So uh, even on my days when it seems rough and a horse passes or another horse is sick and I, I just am tired and I just I want to give up, I, I can feel the essence of him uh, in his spirit form and he tells me, keep going. Without Amy's service and a place for these horses to be retired, they most of them would die. When a horse transitions, it's really, really heavy on my heart, and um, I cry a lot. <laughs> and I, I thank them for their wisdom and their friendship, and their, um, they get buried out here. I just have to, right, you know, rise up and think about Kai and I and our, the relationship that he and I had and what we promised that I would continue to do out here. We're back with Better Together here at Kauai Community College. Dave Pellister talking with our last performer, Charity Ann. Great job. F sounded fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. So when you write music, do you write the music before you write the lyrics or other way around? Oh, my goodness. That's a really good question. Music before lyrics. I feel like the songs write me. 
Yeah, I feel like um, I don't have to do too much thinking. I just keep going through life, and then a song pops out. So when you're writing the music, it makes you feel positive, right? That kind of comes through in your song. Sometimes it can feel awful, but I think... So. <laughs> But I think sometimes you have to create something ugly in order to create something beautiful. So the, the picture in your mind may not be the same one you're conveying to through the song, correct? Well, um, the imagery that I always want to convey is that of beauty. And I think that life in its paradoxes and all its complexities is extremely beautiful. And so that's what I try to convey when I'm playing, and, and I'm really lucky that um, I get to have these moments like I want them where I don't have to think too much. It just kind of flows from you, right? Yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming and singing. It was fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing your positive music with us today on Better Together. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Charity Ann, ladies and gentlemen. Our next performer comes from the west side of Kauai. Please welcome Keiki Aloha. Aloha, my kako. Yep, it's me. Hi, my name is Keiki. Um, and I'm going to be sharing a couple of songs with you today. Um, my first song is a medley composed by... Um, my great grandma, the late Mama Anne Kanhele, and um, they're all church songs. So they talk about God, Jesus, and um, how we should we should do His work and uh, live by Him. I hope you like it. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, let's see. All right. Um, I am uh, a little nervous to play this next number um, for multiple reasons. I just learned it last night. And it, it's, it's, it's for a good cause, actually. It's for a sick little girl of uh, one of the uh, directorial managers in the front, Alohi. Uh, her daughter really, her daughter really likes this song. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll play it. And forgive me if I falter, because this song has so many transitions. Uh, a beautiful number from Oahu uh, called Nani Ko'olo. Okay. Nani koala wa ekoku. Oh God, let me try again. Let me try again. I got this. I got this. Swear, I, I got this. <laughs> okay, I got this. Nani ko la wa he po wa ni e ka e la o ka ma ka si e wa le a i me ka wai o ka u la la e o me ka wai o ka u la la e o Nani ko la wa he po wa ni e ka na ni ka ni ka si ra si I'll do that one again. Oh God, I messed it up again. Damn it. <laughs> you can't edit this out, can you? I'm so sorry for that last time. <laughs> I'm probably running real low on time. Um, uh, this is the last, I swear to it, it's the last one. Um, since everyone have, has been doing songs they've composed, I got mine 
And um, it's a beautiful number called um, Cool Ipo, My Darling. At least I know that one. Your eyes and your smile They light up a room With the smell of a rose Already in full bloom Your hand against mine would be so divine sharing my love with you please say you'll be mine my darling we say you'll be mine without Thank you so much. Thank you, really.
Thank you, Keiki Aloha. What a wonderful performance. We'll be taking another brief intermission. This next video was put on by the Intermedia Video Production class here. This is Growing Our Teachers on Better Together. Several years ago, folks came to me from Growing Our Own Teachers and said, we have a great opportunity to raise funds to help teachers become teachers here on Kauai. And it was a concert with Willie Kay. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna turn that down. We've had 85 student teachers come through our program. Of those 85, I believe 89% of those have completed their mandatory three-year term, which is what we require, that they stay here on Kauai and teach full-time. And at least 50%, and this, we're talking since 2008, 50% of those teachers are still teaching full-time in our schools. So we're super proud of that. From thousands of dollars to just enough to be able to get by with rent, it's one less burden that the aspiring teacher has to worry about during that final year to get over the hump and graduate with their credential for teaching. People who live here know the people, know the roads, know the language to some of, uh, extent, and understand that we have an amazing mix of all sorts of people. A long-term sub position opened up over here, uh, teaching Algebra One. Um, I took that. The idea was I can do this while I wait for an engineering job to come up. Never did, but I found that I really enjoyed teaching. I loved interacting with the students, and that's what brings me here today. Mahina Angwai, who's the principal at Waimea High School, picked him up and brought him in as kind of like a kind of like an emergency hire just to kind of teach engineering and math and this guy has turned out to be this stellar teacher for the kids who do want to go into engineering I, I hope I can give them a good head start into that because um, I didn't have an engineering class when I was in high school so when I went to college it was like whoa this is crazy what's going on It's kind of just go all going over my head we were able to um, help him through his iTeach program so he can get his, his accreditation through. And, and now he's like the rock star at Waimea High School. When I think about who benefits the most, it's our ohana, our families our moms and dads and aunties and uncles who know and have faith that the person who's teaching their children understands them, has some way of relating to them, maybe understands their language. Just happy to be here, love my job. It's great to be here at Waimea High School. That's all, yeah. We want, we want people that you know, have the culture, have the roots here, understand what it's like to be part of a community. And we know those are the type of people that are gonna be successful teachers. And so if we invest in those kinds of people, it's going to come back to us. Not only comes back to us, we're going to keep good qualified teachers in our school, and ultimately who's going to benefit? It's our kids. Without growing our own teachers, Kauai, we are setting ourselves up for the possibility of someone coming in for a short time, and then poof! First year teachers coming out of the mainland, usually 22, 23 year olds, no life experience, uh, not knowing the culture in Hawaii. We have a very unique culture here. Um, being away from home, uh, finding that they have to probably share a, uh, an apartment with two or three other people because it's so expensive. And so they would we'd be back to the rotating teacher corps. I started school speaking Spanish only. None of the teachers could speak Spanish. None of the teachers understood that I also spoke English. But in school, my friends were all speaking Spanish. Had one teacher known what I was saying in Spanish, they could have said, can you speak in English? And I would have said, yes. It's a huge honor uh, to work at WCMS. Uh, when my wife and I moved back here in uh, 2019, uh, we moved here knowing that uh, we wanted to serve the island, uh, learn the culture, respect the land, uh, and build relationships. And so for WCMS to give me the opportunity uh, to teach here was a huge, huge honor and blessing, especially on the west side, which we have, we have a huge heart for. I think it's really safe to say, choose to be involved and you'll find a really unique benefit that will be so special that you cannot measure it against others. We're always giving out funds to these aspiring teachers and you can either you know, give through donations, volunteer with us, 
anyway, we'll, we'll take whatever you can give us. We really appreciate it. You know, the glory in teaching is the glory of seeing your students succeed um, and develop and learn and grow and gain confidence as young people. I tell all my students all throughout the year and they get annoyed. I say, you are kings and queens and I'm gonna treat you like it. We are back better together here at Kauai Community College. Dave Lister here with our last performer for the afternoon, KK Aloha. Wonderful set, my man. That was it really sounded fantastic. Uh, don't flatter me. It's it was something. <laughs> yeah. So you play ukulele and guitar. Which one did you start first, the guitar or the ukulele? Uh, I started uh, as a kid. Uh, actually, I didn't play any instruments as a kid. I just picked it up um, a couple years back. Well, you're a natural, that's for sure. You did some, you did some, uh, some really nice music. It sounded very traditional Hawaiian. I guess that was an influence on you, correct? Oh, yeah. Um, a lot of my family from Niihau, they, they love playing music, and they love singing church music, some of the church hymns. And that's what I grew up on. And it shows you do a very good job. And it was a wonderful performance today. We really appreciate you coming out and sharing the positive music with us. Oh, thank, thank Keiki you. Aloha, ladies and gentlemen. We want to mahalo everyone, especially the beautiful talent that was able to make it here today. That definitely was a treat. And there were experiences of some positivity in music today that we were able to share with you. I don't know about you guys, but I want more. That sounded great. I would like to now call up the crew to the stage that put this show on and be able to share a little more about this event now that it has come to the end. Please welcome to the stage, Tainan, Persia, Jake, Megan, Josh, and Steve. Aloha, everyone. Thank you for coming to our live event. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and coming on. We just want to mahalo you guys for just being here and just watching all the amazing talent that we had. We also want to uh, show our appreciation to David Lister from Star 94.3, being our wonderful MC and being the voice of the show. And so we just thank you, David, for just coming on and giving your time here. My yeah, just we want to, um, I just want to thank my team here. Tainan, Persia, Jake, Alohi, uh, Megan, and also our audio technician, Steve Watkins. He's also our professor of the creative media department. And just I want to thank all of my team for helping because um, putting on this show was a lot. And we are glad it's over. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, the next, um, hopefully the next class that comes up, you know, can put on a show as like this. So... We just want to thank you guys, so mahalo, aloha. Thank you. Good job, you guys.